Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Sometimes you just need more power, and sometimes you need a longer run time. I'm gonna take two, two 100 amp hour, 12 volt batteries, and I'm gonna make one 200 amp hour battery out of them. It's magic. When that's done, I'm gonna take two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries and make one 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery out of it. Let's get to it. Let's get started with a series connection. Checking our handy dandy owner's manual, connect the batteries in series and it shows that you have a positive and a negative coming off of the battery and then it shows that you have the positive and the negative of the battery connected together. If two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries are connected in series, the battery system will be 24 volts, 25.6 and 100 amp hours. So here are my two Power Queen batteries and they have their little protective caps on them. Let's get rid of them because we're gonna be dangerous. Let's take out our portable pocket meter. This is the Allosun. I did a video on this a long time ago and I still have it and I still love it because it folds up nice and flat and won't stab you in your pocket. Well, I mean, it won't stab you in your leg through your pocket, but you know, set this thing to DC volts in the 20 volt range. And then I'm going to connect the positive and the negative. And I read 13.09 on that battery. And I read 13.29 on that battery. Good enough. What else I have are these little battery jumpers. And you'll see that it's red on one side and black on the other. And what I would recommend you do is go down to your local hardware store or down to the description below the video and grab yourself some red phase tape and some black phase tape or electrical tape and then recolor these appropriately for your desired configuration. Again, we're doing a 24 volt series connection and it's gonna be black on one end and red on the other because of how we're connecting it. It's just gonna be the way it is. Just be smart. And now those batteries are connected together and you can connect your positive load up to the positive side and your negative load up to the negative side of the battery like so. Let's see how much that measures out. Twenty-six point four. Now here is another way that you can lay these batteries out in series. And it kind of makes a little bit more sense now because the batteries are in a straight line with each other. And again, we'll do the same test as before. We'll hook up the positive to the positive and the negative to the far negative. And we're at 26.4 volts on the meter. Now the other way that we can do this is in parallel. In parallel, the two 12 volt batteries connected together will continue to create 12 volts, but now they will last twice as long. So your 100 amp hour battery will get you 200 amp hours. Let's go wire that up. We have a little illustration here from our owner's manual and it shows you positive to positive and negative to negative. And then you hook your positive lines up and your negative lines up to your load as shown. If two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries are connected in parallel, the battery system will be 12 volts, 200 amps. All right, now let's take our batteries and put them so that the terminals line up to make our lives a little bit easier. And this is where that red to red and black to black cable nonsense starts to get on you, which is why I suggest that you get yourself some electrical tape and relabel your cables after you get it done. Because the cable works, the, works fine no matter what color it is, the cable doesn't care, it's just humans that care. So positive on one battery to positive on the other battery. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, negative to negative. And now we've created one big battery and now we'll do the same thing with our DVM, our digital voltmeter. We'll do positive on one side. Positive on one side and negative on the other side. And we're reading 13.26 volts. And if we do positive and positive, it ain't gonna work. And if we do negative and negative, it ain't gonna work. It's gotta be positive to negative, 13.26 volts. So there you go, 13.26 two seven volts. Perfect. Usually most manuals are pretty junky, but this one here happens to have quite a lot of information in it uh, that you need to know. Let's take a look at the wire sizing chart inside of this to give you an idea what we're talking about. So this page here gives you the recommended type of copper wiring. 
and it is your AWG American wire gauge and it tells you your ampacity that you're going to pass. These are 100 amp hour batteries, so if I was going to pass 100 amps straight out full time from this battery, I would want to use two gauge wire. If I'm connecting these batteries together in parallel, or in series, I'm going to be able to pull either 100 or 200 amps out. If I wanted to pull 200 amps out, I need four aught wire. That's crazy, but you don't wanna hurt anything. So make sure that you size your wire appropriately for your load. If you're only gonna pull 50 amps out of this max at any given time, first off, that's gonna make your batteries last a very long time. And second, you only need to use eight gauge wire. So for us hams, what can we do with these 100 amp hour batteries? First off, they don't weigh anything at all, which is fantastic. I mean, they weigh something, don't get me wrong, but they don't weigh enough to complain about. I mean, I wasn't struggling to do that whole magic trick I just did, which I would have been struggling if it was a 100 amp hour which is technically a 50 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. Sealed lead acid batteries are a thing of the past in our ham hobby. Don't even worry about them. Don't even bother with them. Go straight to the LifePo 4 batteries like these here. The other cool thing about these specific batteries are that they are mini sized when compared to a Group 27 battery or even a Group 24 battery. This is a Group 24 battery. This is the Power Queen Mini. You can see they are the same width, but where it gets to be interesting is in the depth measurement. So if I put those two side by side, there is about an inch or so hanging off the backside. So this one is much deeper than this one. So a little tiny bit taller, a little tiny bit less deep. And then here is the Group 27 size battery compared to the Power Queen Mini. It is still just a little tiny bit taller, but it is not as wide. And it is also not as deep. So great space savings. So you can see that the Mini is quite a bit smaller, which means you can pack more batteries into a smaller space. When you switch up to 24 volts, you need to understand what all you can do. Make sure that you have the appropriate controller for your solar panels. Make sure that you're charging at the appropriate volts and amps for the intended battery configuration that you have. And then make sure that you step it back down appropriately to run whatever gear needs to be run. Let's say your 12 volt ham shack, as an example. I am personally gonna be running these in parallel because I want 200 amp hours of delivery time versus 100 amp hour of delivery time and then have to switch the batteries out. So it's a big convenience to me to wire these guys up in parallel so that way I don't have to be changing out batteries or charging as often as if I was just plugged into one battery. And I can get a third battery and I can get a fourth battery and I can last forever. And then the sun will come out eventually and I'll be able to recharge all my batteries. Besides, with this overcast, I'm not gonna get much charge from the sun right now. I need runtime. So be sure you look in the description down below for links to more info on these products and on some jumper wires to get yourself started. There's also a discount code down there for you. If you ever need to charge one of these batteries, you're probably gonna need a battery charger for it. I've got a video right here on the Power Queen battery charger that pairs up very nicely with these batteries. Thanks for being awesome. I'll be over there waiting for you.